On that eerie October night, Emma and me, Mark, set out on an adventure down a desolate winding road. The moon hung low, casting an eerie glow over the landscape, and the trees lining the road seemed to twist and turn like ominous specters. Emma and I were bound by our shared passion for the supernatural and our insatiable curiosity. Together, we had decided to explore a long-abandoned mansion hidden deep within the woods, a place steeped in legend and rumored to be a bridge between the world of the living and the world of the dead. As I narrated our journey, my voice quivered with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Our audience eagerly tuned in, drawn by our shared enthusiasm and the promise of a spine-tingling adventure. The road we traversed was a serpentine path leading deep into the heart of the unknown. The night was thick with mist, shrouding the world in an unsettling silence. Our car's headlights pierced the fog, revealing eerie, shifting shapes in the distance. The stillness was palpable, interrupted only by the hum of the engine and the faint calls of distant creatures. As we approached the mansion, my heart quickened with anticipation. I described the mansion's imposing silhouette, its walls covered in creeping ivy and windows that stared out like empty, vacant eyes. The place exuded a sense of forgotten grandeur, and our audience was entranced by the imagery I painted. Once inside the mansion, our flashlights illuminated a world frozen in time. Abandoned furniture, tattered drapes, and fading wallpaper whispered of untold stories. The atmosphere was heavy with history, and I couldn't help but share our excitement with our viewers. As we ventured deeper into the mansion, our voices quickened, mingling fascination and unease. Every creak of the floorboards sounded like a ghostly whisper, and the past seemed to seep from the very walls. The atmosphere was charged with an eerie electricity, and Emma and I shared a sense of unease that grew with every step we took. In a chilling moment of realization, we discovered an old, ornate mirror tucked away in a forgotten corner. The mirror's reflection was not our own, but that of a spectral figure, dressed in antique clothing, staring back with hollow eyes. Our fear was palpable as we recounted the haunting encounter to our audience. The sense of dread that had enveloped us led to a frantic escape from the mansion. As we sped away down the winding road, our narration was filled with fear and panic. The encounter with the ghostly figure had shaken us to our core, and we couldn't help but look back in terror. Leaving the haunted mansion behind, we knew that our shared experience would forever be etched in our memories. It was a testament to our adventurous spirit, our bond, and the chilling reality of that fateful October night. Our audience had been along for the ride, sharing in our fear and wonder as we explored the boundaries of the supernatural. The heart of an ancient forest, I embarked on a solitary hunting journey, unaware that destiny had chosen me as the protagonist of a nightmarish tale. The forest was a tapestry of towering trees, their branches intertwined in an intricate dance that obscured the sun, casting the forest floor into a realm of perpetual twilight. As day gracefully surrendered to night, I kindled a fire at my campsite, its flames serving as my only solace against the encroaching darkness. Solitude enveloped me like a comforting shroud, and the forest seemed to breathe with a life of its own. What began as the distant calls of wildlife evolved into a disconcerting symphony, as if the woods whispered secrets that only I could comprehend. My insatiable curiosity compelled me to delve deeper into the woods, seeking answers to the enigma of these strange sounds. Moonlight filtered through the leaves, revealing cryptic symbols etched into the trees. They pulsed with a latent power, exuding an aura of ancient wisdom. Fear, mingled with fascination, coursed through my veins, yet I remained resolute in my quest. As I approached a mystical clearing, my breath caught in my throat. A colossal figure draped in shadows loomed before me. Its eyes burned with a fierce, mesmerizing light, revealing a predatory intelligence that was both captivating and terrifying. 
This being defied any conventional explanation, a creature of the supernatural, a guardian of the forest's dark secrets. The instinct to flee consumed me, but as I turned to retreat, the forest twisted and contorted, reshaping itself to confound my escape. The once enigmatic sounds now formed a disorienting chorus, each echo more bewildering than the last. One by one, the companions who had ventured with me into this enigmatic wilderness vanished into the ever-shifting abyss, their voices silenced by an invisible hand. Every glance over my shoulder revealed nothing but the enigmatic forest swallowing their existence. Alone and trembling, I found myself crouched in fear as the shadowy entity approached. In a final act of desperation, I raised my rifle and pulled the trigger, but my bullets passed through the specter like smoke. It grinned with satisfaction before enveloping me in darkness, my desperate cries echoing into the void. Now, I remain the sole narrator of a nightmarish encounter, forever bound by the legend of the spectral hunter. The forest, once a realm of natural splendor and adventure, has become a haunted kingdom where the boundaries between reality and the supernatural merge. The cryptic symbols etched into the trees remain an enigmatic riddle, serving as a warning to any who dare to venture into the woods, for the forest conceals a relentless entity forever eager to claim its prey. It was a stormy night, with the sky as dark as a void and rain pouring relentlessly as if the heavens themselves wept. I found myself on the desolate expanse of Highway 66, a lonely road that snaked through a forgotten wilderness. The rain pelted the car's roof like a symphony of ghostly whispers, and the occasional bursts of lightning revealed a dense, shadowy forest that clung to the road like a malevolent secret. As I steered my car through the serpentine highway, an eerie feeling of being watched crept upon me. Shadows flickered at the edge of my vision, and spectral figures loomed in the distance. I tried to convince myself that it was just my overactive imagination running wild in the storm, but the feeling refused to wane. Then, the supernatural became tangible. My headlights pierced the darkness and illuminated a chilling sight, a figure pale and ghostly, standing motionless by the roadside. Its eyes radiated an unholy glow, reflecting my car's lights like malevolent stars. Panic surged through my veins, and I swerved violently to avoid the apparition, my heart pounding in my chest. When I dared to glance back, the figure had disappeared into the black night. Determined to escape this nightmare, I pressed my foot harder on the accelerator. But the strange occurrences only escalated, trees lining the road seemed to come to life, their branches reaching out to scrape against the car's windows. Shadows in the woods morphed into grotesque, menacing forms. It felt as if the very road itself had come alive, a malevolent entity conspiring to keep me ensnared within its grasp. The car's radio, which had been playing a familiar tune, suddenly emitted a series of distorted, otherworldly sounds. Unearthly whispers filled the car, each word sending chills down my spine. I resisted the urge to turn it off, as if silencing it would only beckon the sinister phantoms closer. Just when I felt I could bear no more, a dim light flickered in the distance. A decrepit gas station materialized like an oasis in the night. I pulled in, and as I stepped out of the car, I was met with an eerie silence. The rain had ceased, and the stillness was almost supernatural. The gas station attendant, an elderly man with a look of profound weariness, leaned closer and whispered, You're lucky you made it here, stranger. As I filled my tank, he shared a tale that sent shivers down my spine. Many had ventured onto Highway 66, never to return. Those who did spoke of malevolent spirits that roamed the highway's darkest corners. The road never forgets, he warned his voice a somber reminder. It calls to you, luring you back until it claims your very soul. With his haunting words echoing in my mind, I drove away. 
the memory of Highway 66, the road that never forgets, clung to my consciousness. I couldn't shake the feeling that the highway had left an indelible mark on my soul. I couldn't help but wonder if it would beckon me again, pulling me back into its eerie and inscrutable embrace. The legend of Highway 66, the road that haunted my dreams, would forever be etched in my memory. I had experienced a night drive that I knew I could never truly forget. The night was stormy, with the rain drumming relentlessly on the car's roof, creating an intricate and chaotic symphony of nature's wrath. It was a stark departure from the monotony of our daily lives, and the road trip we had embarked on promised adventure and discovery. My girlfriend sat beside me, her fingers tightly interlocked with mine, her face a mix of excitement and trepidation. We had left the comfort of home behind, seeking to escape the routine, explore new places, and carve lasting memories into the story of our lives. The open road had beckoned with its promise of thrilling experiences and a deepening bond between us. As we drove into the heart of the storm, our adventure took on a new, haunting dimension. The rain pounded on the windshield, the occasional flashes of lightning revealing a road that twisted and turned like the enigmatic chapters of a mystery novel. The dense forest that flanked the road appeared as if it held secrets too dark to reveal. Our journey was not just about exploring new destinations, it was about rediscovering ourselves and testing the strength of our connection. As I navigated the winding road, my girlfriend's unease became palpable. Her eyes darted nervously, capturing fleeting shadows and ghostly figures that seemed to dance at the edge of our vision. The sensation of being watched, once my solitary burden, now rested heavily upon us both. She squeezed my hand, seeking comfort as her fear mingled with mine. Then, the eerie sensation manifested into an unsettling reality. Our headlights pierced the darkness, illuminating a figure by the roadside. My girlfriend gasped in terror, her grip on my hand reaching a vice-like intensity. The spectral figure stood pallid and haunting, its eyes radiating an uncanny glow. Its gaze felt like a condemnation from another realm. Panic surged through us, and I swerved the car to avoid the apparition, our hearts beating in frantic unison. But when we dared to glance back, the figure had vanished into the obscurity, leaving us with a chilling memory etched into our minds. Determined to escape this enigmatic terror, I pressed the accelerator harder. The rain hammered against the windshield. The trees along the road seemed to extend their gnarled branches toward us, and the shadows in the forest morphed into grotesque, otherworldly shapes. It was as if the very environment itself had turned malevolent, as if nature conspired to keep us within its mystifying clutches. The car's radio, once a source of comfort, crackled and emitted eerie, distorted sounds. Unearthly whispers filled the car, and my girlfriend trembled, her eyes wide with fear. I hesitated before reluctantly turning it off, the uncanny feeling lingering in the air. Just when we believed we could bear no more, a dim light emerged on the horizon, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the oppressive darkness. We pulled into a small clearing, and as we stepped out of the car, we were met with an eerie silence. The rain had ceased, and the stillness was almost supernatural, as if the world itself held its breath. The memory of that stormy night, the apparitions and our shared fear, would forever be etched in our memory. We had survived a night drive that we knew we could never truly forget. Our adventure, unexpectedly intertwined with the mysterious and the supernatural, had deepened our connection, making it an unforgettable chapter in the story of our lives. On this fateful night, the world seemed veiled in mystery as my girlfriend and I embarked on an extraordinary odyssey. We had left the safety and routine of home far behind, enticed by the allure of an uncharted and enigmatic road. Within the secure cocoon of our car, her fingers interlocked with mine. Our anticipation was intertwined with a captivating sense of unease. This journey wasn't merely an escape from the ordinary. 
It was an exploration of the extraordinary, a chance to inscribe our own legends onto the tapestry of existence. The open road beckoned, promising uncharted realms and a bond between us that would be forged in the crucible of this night. Yet, the storm that raged outside had transformed the world, casting a spell of wonder and tension over our adventure. The raindrops hammered the windshield with relentless insistence, each one a percussionist in a frenetic symphony directed by nature herself. The sporadic bursts of lightning were flashes of revelation, momentarily illuminating a road that appeared to meander like a riddle waiting to be solved. The forest, a sentinel of secrets, bordered the road, its depths concealing enigmas that seemed destined to remain uncharted within the shroud of the night. As I guided the car through the labyrinthine path, the unease grew, adding an edge of suspense to our escapade. My girlfriend's eyes darted nervously, capturing fleeting shadows and spectral figures that danced at the periphery of our vision. The sensation of being watched, once a solitary burden, now enveloped us, as if our car had become a haven for a spectral observer. Her hand clung to mine, seeking refuge amid the mounting fear. Then, the eerie sensation solidified into a disconcerting reality. Our headlights sliced through the darkness, revealing a figure standing sentinel by the roadside. My girlfriend gasped, her grip on my hand tightening to an almost painful intensity. The spectral figure, with its pallid countenance illuminated by the eerie radiance of its eyes, felt like a creature summoned from the collective recesses of our nightmares. Panic surged through us as I swerved the car to avoid the apparition, our hearts racing in unison. But as we dared to glance back, the figure had vanished into the obscurity, leaving behind a chilling memory that hung in the air like a phantom's presence. Determined to evade this uncanny terror, I pressed the accelerator with resolute determination. The rain continued to lash against the car, as if the elements themselves had cast us as intruders. The trees lining the road extended their gnarled branches, scraping against the windows, and the forest shadows metamorphosed into grotesque, otherworldly entities. It was as though the very world had formed a sinister alliance, conspiring to keep us entwined within the labyrinthine mysteries of the night. The car's radio, once a comforting companion, had become an instrument of the arcane. It emitted distorted, otherworldly sounds, and the whispers that filled the car sent shivers down our spines. My girlfriend trembled, her eyes wide with terror. I hastened to silence the radio, but the sense of foreboding persisted, as though the very darkness had found its voice, whispering secrets we were never meant to hear. Just as our hope teetered on the precipice of despair, a faint light appeared on the horizon, a beacon of salvation amid the pervasive obscurity. We pulled into a small clearing, and as we stepped out of the car, we were greeted by an eerie silence. The rain had ceased, and the stillness felt like a sentient presence, as if the very air held secrets close to its heart. The memory of that tempestuous night, the apparitions and our shared fear, would forever be etched in our souls. We had weathered a night drive that would remain vivid in our memories, an adventure where unique elements of wonder Suspense and enigma had fused together, leaving us with a lingering question of what lay concealed in the mysteries of our journey.